Hey gents, today we're going to be talking about natural deodorants and my experiments trying to get away from aluminum in my deodorants uh, and the trials and tribulations of that. So I've been using Native for the past six months and I've been using Ducanon for a little bit less time, but trying to get away from Old Spice. Full disclosure, I am not a doctor. I have done my best research that you can online and talked to my own doctor. Uh, this is video is not sponsored. I have both of these myself, but I do have affiliate links for both of them if you wanna pick up. That is how I support the channel while giving you my unbiased opinion on the brands. Some background for you before we jump into those. My first deodorant was my dad's, which I feel like most guys are. It was the original Old Spice and it worked really well for me. Then over the years, I tried my hand at a number of different major brands whether it was Gillette or Shtick or uh, Fusion. I had a brief flirtation with Axe uh, when it was really hot when I was in middle school, but I always kept coming back to the tried and true classic Old Spice because it really worked for me. It reduced my sweating, I liked the smell of it, and it's like the signature smell that my wife thinks of when she thinks of me. I also tried some of the Toms, the Arm & Hammer, like natural stuff, but I kept coming back to the Old Spice. Now, as you upgrade your lifestyle entirely, your clothing and what you put into your body, you realize that deodorant shouldn't really be a thing that you cheap out on. Like I used to try and buy it at Costco and the big boxes, but there's like a cost to that low price uh, and you pay that in some of the ingredients that are in the deodorants. So I started with Native because my wife had been subscribed for a few years, she had some extra bottles, and I knew that I wanted to try and cut out aluminum after doing some research. Then, the more you look into it, the more they really say, like, aluminum isn't really the problem, it's the parabens that are used in typical deodorants because that's a preservative which can activate estrogen in your body and is a known carcinogen which can lead to cancer. And so I went with this because it is paraben free, aluminum free, and I was not a big fan uh, of using this and I complained to my wife about it constantly. The smell is fine. I used the, like, this is the scent free deodorant. I also used the cocoa, coconut vanilla, cocoa butter vanilla. I used that one for a while, but my biggest issue with it came in the application. It is extremely tacky and it leaves residue everywhere. So not only was it kind of painful to apply because it would pull out my armpit hair to get like a really nice even application, but it also didn't work. I get a lot of questions from you guys about the best undershirts, underdress shirts, and I never understood it because I never sweat that much. And after going to Native for a few months, I now understand it. When I was using Native, it helped a little bit with odor, and I definitely waited. They say, you know, your body has enough aluminum buildup in it that you need to wait a few weeks for the for the natural deodorant to activate, but it just never really did after months of wearing this every day. And it was most apparent, like I would be out here in the studio, it's not that hot, and I would just sweat just standing here, not even moving around, let alone if I were to do some sort of activity. It's also the first time in a long time that I have any sort of pits, I was getting pit stains in my shirts and it, like, it won't even wash out of some of my polos. And I could see, like not just pit stains of like the moisture that was coming from the sweat, but it was leaving yellow residue on the shirts like, like this one here, but then I was also getting a lot of residue within the armpit of the shirts, which I'm still having trouble washing out. And like, I recognize this from my wife's shirts. My wife uses the native and she's actually switching to something else. And so I wanted the natural deodorant, but now that I know the aluminum is like, okay, but the parabens you gotta cut out, there are more options. A native at 10, 12 or $14, depending on where you buy it, I think is like a good deal. And so my, my price was already set there. Then, if you remember my ASMR video about Duke Cannon, I really like Duke Cannon soap and I found out that they have an antiperspirant deodorant, but they also have a charcoal activated natural deodorant, which is aluminum free. So there's aluminum in the antiperspirant and the charcoal is aluminum free. So I switched to this for a little bit. I love every scent I've ever smelled in person of Duke Cannon. I love. The Trench Warfare is really good. I have one of their charcoal blocks of soap right now in my bathroom, and I loved the speckled soap that I had that I received in one of my boxes a while ago, and so picking up the Duke Cannon stuff has been really nice. And this comes in at $10 as well. So you're already looking at you know the same price as the Native, but the application of the charcoal deodorant is 
It reminds me a lot of the Old Spice. Now I used to try some gel deodorants, some of the white deodorants, they always leave residue, but the natural deodorant is a really nice gel, super smooth application, really nice smell, and I found that it does help stop perspiration in a big way, and any perspiration that does come, there isn't body odor associated with it. So you're getting a natural deodorant that is aluminum free, that has no parabens, has a great smell, and so far it has been, it, you know, it's it's on pace to last as long as my Old Spice used to, which is a big thing too, I, it would take me like, six months to go through deodorant or more with daily wear. I did use the antiperspirant one for a while and I don't like the application on this one as much. It reminds me more of the native. It's a little bit more coarse, but I did find that it does absolutely help with the antiperspiration entirely. This one does have aluminum, but for $10 between the two, I prefer, when I'm going to reach, it's like, what am I gonna reach for uh, in the morning? I always prefer the natural one, the antiperspirant one, does smell really good. It has a little bit stronger of a smell if, as you wear it through the day because it is kind of coating and it does help with the antiperspirant. You know, I, I think it's probably a personal preference thing the way the applicator works, but I really prefer the gel on the natural. If I, you know, my wife is switching from native, I'm switching from native. I think if you want a natural deodorant, good for you, go for it. There's a tons of options out there and you gotta find the one that works for you. And that's part of like one of the caveats of this video is like, I can find what works for me because of my body type, the way I sweat, the way my body composition is. Uh, but for you, you gotta find a company that will really work there. And I hope that if you haven't had luck with natural deodorants, do Canon Charcoal is the first natural deodorant that has actually worked for me and that I'm going to continue to use. And I'm gonna continue to use their soap, I think is excellent. And so uh, I'm a big Duke Cannon fan now that I've had more time with these. And I hope you'll check them out because they're a great company. Proceeds go to uh, veterans and everything. And so like a good company mission overall. And I'm really glad that I first received a bar of soap in one of my subscription boxes a while ago. Otherwise, um, you know, it would have been another one of those brands that I like hope to check out in the future. But I think Duke Cannon is a great place to start. If you wanna get away from some of the, the you know, traditional mega brands, Duke Cannon is a really cool independent brand to support and check out. And I really like their product and it works well for me. So that is my experiment into natural deodorants. If you have a natural deodorant that you think I might like or might work, I'm always open to more. I always wanna give you guys the best information that I can, which is why I try so many products and uh, just try to give you my unbiased and unhindered thoughts. So I will be down in the comments as always. Love to hear from you guys down there about deodorants. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. Till next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Thank you.